What's up guys? We're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin. It does look like it may have made a decision. We're going to look at the areas to watch from the smaller frame time frames all the way up to the bigger time frames. So stick around, watch the whole thing. And don't forget, we have a free Discord group. There's a link down below in the description. Let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. Disclaimer, scroll on the bottom, make sure you read it. And don't forget, we're doing a free Ledger Nano S hard wallet giveaway on Sunday. All you have to do to enter to win is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post videos. Smash that thumbs up and leave your comment down below. I'll pick a random comment from a random video throughout the week. All right, looking at the... <clears throat> the fear and greed index we are at 95 raise one point from yesterday still still in the extreme greed zone and uh let's take a look at the dow so i've been watching the dow to come up and retest this trend line at in the best case scenario in my opinion 30,007 to 30,800 before rejection if it blows above there then we could be looking at some crazy stuff but as you can see we're getting lower highs in the rsi higher highs in the price that is bearish divergence and the dollar index could still come down a little more to touch the bottom of this wedge, but it could have been front ran and we could pop up from here a break of this top wedge line. And I think the dollar index is going to go crazy and that will drag Bitcoin down. We've been talking about that. As you can see back here, last time we broke out of the wedge, same thing. And this one's almost identical. If you look at it with all the EMAs on there, it's almost um, yeah, almost identical. But anyways, look at it. Gold it has gold bottomed here. It's definitely a possibility. There's still a possibility of another drop all the way down to 1736. Look at this as an ABC correction before the next big move up. Um, all right. So this is the triangle we were watching yesterday. As you can see, it did break. Here are the targets for the downside. Um, let me, I need to put in here trying to go back so you can see right there this was the spot i was talking about to break down past and obviously we've done that and we are dropping as of right now 18.7 was important too we'll take a look at that in a chart in a second but let's take a look at these measured moves here um our first target is going to be this 16.9 to 17,000 range right in that area um, that's going to be our first target. Our second target is looking at this as a bull flag and this being the flag pull. And how I measure the flag pull, I'll show you. A lot of people will measure um, all the way, they'll measure all the way down here. But when there's a breakout like we had here, you measure from the breakout. That's why a lot of times their targets do not match up. And what we're looking at is about 16,000 for that target. Keep an eye on this. And this is great trading opportunity times, guys. Um, if you are interested, you can use Prime XBT. It's my favorite exchange. They don't trade against you. And you can trade crypto, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow Jones, all on one exchange. You can make multiple you can be trading in a long and a short at the same time without making multiple accounts. You can do all kinds of different stuff with it. Definitely check it out. This is all the stuff on the side that you can trade. Um, again, like I said, by far my favorite. You can use promo code SAVVY50 to get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit. As a bonus, up to one Bitcoin, you can use that towards your margin. And SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. Even if you already have um, an account you can still use my promo code so check it out all right now this was the last hope right here for re continuing up and i can take this off now i was showing people in the discord this morning and this was what we talked about breaking but as you can see the yellow dotted trend lines was looking at this as a possible rising wedge and one more leg up but it has broken guys um we broke that 18.7 and that's pretty much it for me. That's not to say we can't come up and retest this again around the 18.9 to 19,000 uh, before continuing down, but it's looking pretty 
pretty ugly guys i'm looking down towards this seventeen thousand dollar range now let's take a look at one more thing here as you can see this rising channel goes all the way back here and we have broken out of that to the upside over here looks like we might be coming back down to retest it around that 17,000 17,001 but a break of this back inside here um, our next support is going to be this yellow trend line here which could be around that 16,000 um, it could take some time guys it doesn't mean it goes straight down you know we could bounce around this area for a week two weeks whatever but um regardless this is what i'm seeing if we take a measured move of that wedge to where we broke down from it that could get us all the way down to around the fifteen thousand dollar range definitely a possibility like i said we're going to look at some longer term charts too and i'm going to show you what i believe is possibly coming in the near future um let's look at the four hour here so in the four hour this could be a rising wedge here in yellow right and coming down to retest the bottom of this is going to be around the 17.8, somewhere in that range. Now, if we do break this, uh, we could go as low as the 13.5. And let me show you why that's significant. If we do a Fibonacci retracement all the way from the swing low way back here in December of 2018 to the swing high this year, our Fibonacci retracement levels, 0.236 is 16,000, 0.382 is 13.5, and that's a perfect measured move for falling out of this rising wedge. But again, guys, first we have to break out of this wedge, and then we have to break back into this channel, which is around 17,000, so break below that. We would be looking good for coming down here. The 0.382 is 13.5, if that was the break. The 0.5 Fib is at 11.5. Then we have the golden pocket zone at 92, 0.786 at 67. Why am I showing you these lower targets? Because they're still possible. Um, if you guys are interested in helping support the channel, anchorimage.com. This is my wife's webpage. She makes all this stuff. A lot of great Christmas gift ideas. Um, there is a Bitcoin section also. It's all quality stuff, guys, not iron on garbage. Check it out if you haven't already. And Let's look at the daily. So looking at the daily, this is the 18.8. We've been watching forever. And I said one more drop below that, and I think that's it. I think we could be at that point. Um, same thing, the Fibonacci retracement levels that we just looked at here. Uh, best case scenario is we come down and get a bounce off the 16,000 range, which would be the top of this rising wedge here. Um, Coming back down to retest that, if we break below the 16, like I said, I'd be looking for the 13.5. If that breaks, 11.5, so on and so forth. Um, looking at the weekly. So this is something we've discussed quite a few times. We're going to look right at the RSI here. And as you can see, it is falling. And I had said to watch for a retest of the bottom of this rising wedge here. And a retest of the top of this a symmetrical triangle which would be right in this area a break below that and a close of a, a weekly below that and i do believe we're going to come back down to this range that i've been talking about for a long time which would be a awesome opportunity to buy in or long if we get down there we got to keep an eye on this area first um super bullish case scenario there are the targets um if you haven't seen the measured moves check out prior videos i showed you but that is for the people that think we're going to continue going up which it's not looking very promising right now. Um, another thing I want to look at, we've talked about this many times now, is the 550 days between each peak. And right now we're at about 500 and we're right around that range. So this definitely could be the top here. And if we look at the lows, 457 days here, 455 days from the 2018 to the 2020 low. And if that happens again, we could be looking, and this is one I've been talking about. I'm buying my Bitcoin back, my HODL position back. Obviously, I still have trade accounts. I did sell my one Bitcoin that was profit from last week's. I sold that yesterday. And I do think I'll be buying my HODL back sometime in around June next year. We'll see how that goes. Um, even if it continues up from here, I've talked about that before. Not a big deal because if I do have to buy up here and it's going to go to 300,000 or whatever, like people are screaming, doesn't really matter if you buy it above 20 or even 30,000. Not really. But 
Um, I see next year being the time that I buy back. Again, guys, this is all my opinion. Do what you will. But this here, if we continue the same pattern, 550 days, uh, we would see the top around the end of 2022 would be the top of the next real bull run, in my opinion. Um, another thing I want to look at is, so this is the MACD, and I'll show you, if you go up to the indicators on trading view and go into public library, it's the MACD custom indicator multiple time frame by Chris Moody. And as you can see, it's called the tops of all these big runs on the daily, right? Um, and as of right now, here's where we are. Daily's looking bearish as heck. We had been talking about this for a long time. I do believe we could see another triangle just like we see each time. So, you know, maybe we get down to that 16,000 bounce all the way back up to 18,9 to 19,000 back down. And we create a floor here only to break through, come back, retest and come down. Um, like I said, around June next year. That's what I'm looking at. Um, Let's take a look at this on the three day real quick. This is starting to look more bearish on the three day. Whoops, that's a three hour. That doesn't help us. Three days right here. Um, let me get these circles out of the way. Actually, I'll just move them up. As you can see on the three day, obviously that is a more powerful um, signal. Three day is turning over here, but we still have a couple more days um, for the three day to close. But I, as you can see, every time that three day closes, expect, especially at these heights, you can see what happens afterwards. Um, and it is looking like that's gonna happen. Even back here in March, we had the cross up here and you've seen what happened there. So be cautious guys, be careful. Um, I know there's a lot of super bullish people. Um, and again, they could be right, but just don't see it. Uh, let's look at the NVT here. So this is on the daily. The NVT is once again below the signal line here. Um, if this daily popped up above this signal line again, then I would suggest that we could have one more leg up. But as of right now, it's not looking like that. Um, let's look at the EMAs. We are getting rejected at the 13 EMA right now, which is at about... Uh, 18,730 so a close above that then we may be in good shape but otherwise 21 EMAs around the 18.2 to 18.3 range and then the 55 EMA around the 16.2 we have the 200 EMA all the way down to the 12.6 um, be cautious here guys let's take another look at something else on the MVT if you guys haven't been watching the MVT I suggest you do it's called the tops pretty well sometimes it takes a little longer in the red but once you get below this signal line once that turns blue again it's most likely going to get pretty ugly how's the 12 hour look droopy uh let's go into the three day three day we are just coming down to that signal line so a a break of this signal line in a three day is probably going to get pretty ugly, as you can see every time it breaks. Usually that's followed by blue, except over here. Um, let's see. Let's look at the weekly. And the weekly does look to be turning over here. We have been... Yesterday I talked about this being a possible left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and coming down from there. So keep an eye on this, guys. If this weekly turns blue, um, it's probably time to get the heck out if you are still in but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the crypto savvy logo by my head smash that thumbs up and leave your comment down below to get you entered to win the free ledger nano s um again i appreciate each and every one of you guys this is prime opportunity prime time to be trading in bitcoin if you are trading uh good luck to y'all i'm out of here take it easy have a great day